Yesterday I was 61, today I'm 62, and tomorrow I will be well into my 63rd year. When you put it like that, time certainly flies, doesn't it? I can remember when I was a youngster at primary school, and even then the thought of being 16 and leaving school seems so far into the future that it would never come around. Then I can remember the idea of being 21. And again, that seemed in the distant future and it would never happen, but it did. And then you think 30 and 40, 50, 60, all of those landmark years in your life, they are so far into the future, but they come round. And it is a reminder each birthday that we are getting older, that we are mortal, that we won't live forever. I'm fully aware of that. I know that every breath that we take is one less to the time that we depart this planet. And don't think for one moment that I am being morbid or negative about that. I'm just being realistic. As far as I'm concerned and what depends upon me, then I want to make the most of life. And that was the same when I was 40 as it is now I'm 62. It's always been there, that desire to milk life for all of its goodness and to make the most of it. And we have to, don't we? Because the second that we're in right now has now gone and we'll never be able to get that back. And we can't look at it in a negative sense because time marches on. Words from a Temptations song there. It does. We can never get the time back. It doesn't matter how wealthy we are, how big our house is, how grand our car is, how much money we've got in the bank. None of that counts as far as time is concerned. It is about being realistic, isn't it? And it's about making the most of it. That's the important thing. So what do the next 12 months have in store for me? Well, God willing, and I can continue with good health and continue with all the plans that I have in mind. It's basically a case of stay as you are and continue as you are. Continue to enjoy life and be happy. That's the important thing, isn't it? We won't always be happy, of course, because circumstances bring about things that are beyond our control. Never mind us making bad decisions or bad choices in life. Sometimes things can happen that can really knock us off our feet, so to speak. We can't do anything about those. But what we can do is to make a choice in our lives that we will be positive, we will be happy, and we will make the most of life. So as far as I'm concerned, that's the next 12 months for me. As we get older, I hope that I'm still here in 12 months time to talk about the next year and what that has in store. I always remember my dad when he was 60 and I went round to the, the home at the time and because I'd moved when I was 18, so I'd been away for many years, but I went to see my dad and I remember he was telling me that he'd got the option of retiring at 60 because he'd worked all his life. So he'd got a pension and he'd got the opportunity of retiring when he was 60. And he didn't mention the money, but he said, I can get so much and I can live on that. It's okay. He said, but if I go for another five years, then it becomes considerably more. So I, I said, what are you going to do? He said, I'm going to do the latter. So that was his choice to work for another five years and then have a lot more money from then onwards for the rest of his life. He never made it. In fact, when he was my age now, he didn't get past that. And you never know what is around life's corner. I always feel that there is a balance between making the most of every opportunity, living today like it's our last on earth, but at the same time, living it responsibly, just in case it isn't. A few thoughts there on my birthday. I don't mind old age. It certainly is not a problem whatsoever, as far as I'm concerned. 
I look forward to enjoying the next 12 months. Lots of fishing trips, quite a few football games along the way, a little bit of tourism here and there, visiting places, lots of nature stuff, bird watching, walking around the area where I live, all sorts of things that I've got plans for. But you never know what's around Light's Corner, do you? Live today like it's your last, but live it responsibly just in case it isn't.